Morning everyone. Welcome to Road Road Restore. I'm John. video we're going to be working on one of these cleaning it up and uh, if we get that far trying to put everything back together and this is a CBR 1000 F cylinder head and I believe it's the SC 21 E engine oh, oh it's heavy yes so without further ado Let's get on with it. Okay then, so I'm going to get a little bit of a clean up, but I thought, well, I better try and see if I can get these out first. I've tried all the other threads with the same size thread bolt. They're all nice and perfect. So they're all fine. Just this one, that one, and that one. Yeah, that one's probably a good stud, but I want to get it out and because uh, I will be using Allen bolts like that to put the exhaust back on. So let's see if we can get these things out. Okay then. So let's just uh, try this one first with these trusty mole grips. as well with the way it's moving. something on it and uh, with the heat as well that should help it come undone so bear with me while I set the welder up okay then so let's try and clean it up a little bit let's get some clean metal to weld to okay then so we've found a knot it's just uh, Put that on there. See if we can't weld it on there. Yeah, let's see if we can do this. Sort of. <laughs> so let's 
see if we can get a spanner on it. Yeah, put all this cardboard on the top to hopefully stop any splatter going onto the uh, joining surfaces. Yeah, we have got this set. Good 11 pieces. But I uh, haven't got one of these small enough for the studs, so I bet one of these would have done it. I could have got one of these on the studs, I bet that would have ripped it out easy. I still might need one. I might need one of these to put on the nut. Because I don't think I'm going to get a socket on that nut. Let's see if we can get that on there a bit better. Yeah, that's a bit better. A bit straighter. Not a lot. Put that piece in there. This thing in there. I don't flee. It'll come undone. But I don't think it is. Just snapped it even further. Damn. <sighs> that bloody thing. Uh, tell you what, my next project definitely won't be a CVR. That is, unless I was given one, of course. Right then, so we've actually tried to drill this one out, but all the drill bits I can find are blunt. So, this is a few days later. So I've had to go online. So, better not show you that way, had I? So I've had to go online and uh, purchase a new drill bit. Three quid. Oh. So, See what we get for three quid. And what we got in here? Three quid. Hope it's not too big. Bought a five mil. I should have bought a four mil, shouldn't I? Or a three mil. Oh, hope it's all right. Anyway, whenever you get anything through the post, don't forget, sanitise, good and proper, sanitise the pot as well. So, let's grind that baby fat and uh, centre punch again and start again, see if we can drill it out. I have to keep the camera away from the sparks. Okay then, let's try and centre punch this in the middle. I think that's about right. Go for it. Nope, bloody mile off. Okay then, let's see what mess we can make of this. Uh, 
might help if I plug the drill in first. Try again. Oh, just taking my time because I don't want to go off offline. I think I'm pretty much online at the moment. Okay, so I've gone pretty deep, so I think at this point I ought to uh, take a measurement off one of the other holes, put some tape around it. Because I don't want to go too deep and drill straight through the block. carry on. Hopefully we're going straight. Okay we're getting quite close. I think that went through, so it must have reached the end of the bolt. Uh, brush and clear all this off. Oh, I hope I've gone through in a straight line. So I don't know whether to try one of these stud extractors, extractors, extractors. Just try it with this small, uh, just the ball spanner. I can't see anything working. Nope, don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk it. So I found a tap or a die. One of the two. Don't know if it's a tap or a die. But that's a bit too big to go in there. Just the right size. But uh, let's try the next drill up. God, nail biting times. Too big, I think. Oh, no, no, no. Got one a bit smaller than that. Let's have a look at these ones. Let them get them out. That's too big. It's too small of it. Too small. Should I try that one? 
try one of those, I think. Where's me, uh, where's me chuck gear gone? Good chuck, now there you are. Oh wait. Go talk about butterflies. You can see me after using the other head you watch. The other head's just got one stud stuck in it but it's not snapped. I could get a nut on it. Okay, here goes. Well, that don't sound very good, does it? Okay then, so I think that's definitely put an end to that. Because that snapped off inside there. Can you drill through that? I don't think so. Damn. Oh God. I've been trying to saw around it to break this lip off so hopefully I could grab it with something but I did get it screwed in there pretty far. God. Never rains. Anyway, leave it with me. I'll be back when I've either sorted it out or smashed it into little pieces. Okay then, so I've been on this a few hours now. And there's no way a drill bit is going to go through that. So, bit the bullet, I've given up. I'm going to use the other cylinder head. And the other cylinder head, if you remember, has got one of these broken off. Yes, I think it's that one that's broken off. Not that one. That one. I think that's broken off, but I don't really think that's going to cause a problem with the cam chain tensioner guide thing. So I'm just going to have to use the other cylinder head after all that lovely work. Okay, so we'll leave that head down there. Uh, here's the other head up here. Okay, so I've uh, checked all the exhaust ports. They're all got nice clean threads, nice spinning bolts. Uh, it's just this bolt, I've been trying to get it out, but I think that's well in there. I've tried the uh, Two nuts, but uh, that one's not too bad. But see the state of that one, it's not going to have it. So I'm just going to leave that one in there. Uh, yeah, just put a flange nut on it like that, and hopefully. Just use these flange bolts to screw into there. But get the right size obviously. And then that way, when all the exhausts are on, and there's just one nut and all the rest of the bolts, I don't think anybody will really notice. So, anyway, so now I've just got to clean all this surface off again. Clean all this grime off as well. Uh, 
get all these rubbers off and yep this is the one with the broken doodle and just give it a damn good clean so yes that's it give it up with this one carrying on with this one so hope the video has been of some use to you uh, if you've reached it this far hope you enjoyed it and uh, as usual stay well stay safe and I'll see you on Saturday mm. See you in another life, brother.